Hey guys, it's Jared here and welcome back to my channel, but most importantly, welcome back to more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And what an episode, last episode was, guys. Um, I'm recording this back to back, I just stopped um, for to edit the previous video and I'm, I'm, I'm back. I put my jacket back on because now I'm feeling cold and I put my I'm beanie ready. on. And we are here town. now in real All life, in. Uh, well, real life, real time. Sean, I'm here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right, we may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, for radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by. Isn't this the same artifact that we found in Odyssey? I'm in. Hotter already. Yes, by our reckoning, it's going to go up by about 16 degrees Celsius. How does it draw so much power? Tectonics is our best theory. The movements of the Earth's crust, the churning lava beneath, huge source of energy. That's tech humans should have. Energy, not pieces of Eden. Forget it. I'll call you when I'm topside. Why are you not calling us when you're topside? Don't be like that. Here we go. What's the... What's up with the red smoke? There you are. You're working overtime. I'm not sure what we need to do here, though. Must have collapsed when the ice melted. I'm sure we can't make the jump though. Can we? I don't think we can. I I'm gonna try, but if, if I die, there's a weird cut or something. It's because I died. Man. Okay, so we go up here. Why can't we... Okay, it's blocked. This is so Odyssey, guys. My joypad is trembling, like it's shaking. I don't know if there's an earthquake coming or something. Hold it down. Don't look down. <laughs> huh? 
Let's go this way. We can't climb up here, I guess. Yes. It's a long way up. Okay, so we are on the main tower, yeah? Yeah. And to be quite honest, guys, I still haven't figured out exactly where we are. Are we in a portal that takes you to Valhalla? Uh, but if it is a portal that takes you to Valhalla, Valhalla doesn't really exist, right? Why would anyone like, who built this place? Here unless they felt it was just beginning. Because this is a man-made place it's just like the animus it's just like the animus <laughs> who, is, who is the other guy hanging there I don't think it's Sigurd this is this is Eivor's Valhalla or a simulation of it. So what am I looking for? Will I know it when I see it? Probably. Something feels off. You can't climb? You can't climb on things, guys. Can we climb with no? Who are these people? Okay, we're on Who's to something. Your master? Now. Is he here? <laughs> they flattered me. I am only a guest in their world, a world spun of wishes and hopes. Basim, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Yes, a hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed. But I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you through the digital lasses that enwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this, a superorganism of technology. The staff you carry, the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. 
I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together. For another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. You're a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. Let's go towards the Tree of Life. If Wipe everything. Run it again. Layla. Hello. You know me? Yes. Through the calculations I read here in the Grey. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15,055,003,276 to 1. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these, searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node? This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limited. How do you mean? What if you went back further? 2012 when Desmond saved the world. Desmond? What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation, it will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the Staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course? Fuck. All right. Find a solution together, however long it takes. And if 
that means I can never leave, so be it. Okay. I owe this to the people I, I hurt. To the people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place. Odin? Bezin? Are you with me? I'm with you. It worked perfectly, my dear. Is the mad one here? No, my love. Only we remain. And Layla. <sighs> the air of memories fulfilled her role perfectly. Mm. Now then, a new world awaits. What does that mean? Sean, Bex, I, I had a choice. And I chose to stay. You'll wonder where I am. You might wonder if I am. I don't know how to answer that. But I'm not afraid. And I'm not alone. We have work to do. Work that may take us days or years. It's impossible to say. But we'll finish it. What I mean is... Don't come looking for me. It's too dangerous and... And too late. Take care of yourself. Take care of the world we still have. And take care of... You see, she's fine. In a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking? Jesus! We have to find her! You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you, you left her there. This, this is all a bit much. I know I'm in the same situation. No, no. You're in a class all your own, man. We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishim. Ah, and do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars, as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear, we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. Okay.
It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use. To find my children. And bring my family back together. Okay, so that's his purpose. A quiet place to find an end. I almost envy you. I can't lie, guys. I'm lost. As in... I'm, I'm having a problem following the storyline now. Yeah, don't dance. Don't dance. Come on, let's go. Stop. I don't want to be copyrighted. <laughs> Strange message. An audio fragment sent from an unknown location to our encrypted servers. Nothing was stolen, nothing corrupted. Just a quick deposit and gone. We got lucky this time. So what is it? A cryptic sound file, voice unknown, with a signal beneath it. The signal was a code, led us to a precise spot here in New England. We dug and good lord, we struck gold. Well, silver, dominant currency in the Dark Ages. Point is, it was a gravesite, a Norse warrior dating to the late 9th century, early 10th century AD. A few centuries before the earliest known settlements. This is big news if we have it right. Questions remain, how did these bones get here and why? Right. I want a beer, mate. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all garbage must be packed out. And please water the plants once a day. Poor little plant. I looked like you not long ago. <laughs> Hold tight, love. A new world has opened to us. Once I get my bearings, there is nothing we cannot achieve. Enter Anos. The bleeding effect shouldn't take long to kick in. A few days at most. So here we go. Technically, she's the new Yarl. <clears throat> with you? No, not for now, Toby.
Eivor, is that you? It is. Is Sigurd not with you? Mm -hmm. He stayed behind to begin anew. Stand up. What? Stand. This seat is yours. It suits you. Eivor's returned! Inside of the hearth, come! Your secret is no longer safe. What secret? Eivor? Ralvi? What is this? Is everything all right? Our Jarl's Kuna has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future. Will you speak to your people? For love and joy words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when... You're less mine than I'm yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steep my words gain wings. Odin's speed I forth will bring. Sound the mighty hall for we who fight, for we who fall. For a second, there. I thought that the game was over when they were singing and stuff. It would have been a great ending. But there's still missions. There's still alliances to be pledged and stuff. Uh, let me just check before we go to Ranvi and stuff. Um, let me just check the inventory. We've got 75, oh no, 56 opals. Okay, we have two skill points, I'm assuming. Four. So let's just put them into good use. Let's uh, increase our light attack. Our range. Our evasion. Well, stealth, not evasion. And the sprint bash unlocks the ability to bash through breakable objects and push NPCs to the ground while sprinting. Okay, why not? Okay, so that was intense, man. That was really intense. Uh, let's go to Ranvi. Good. Come to me. It's been a long while, Ranvi. Now. Let's see this. Show me the alliance map. I want to see the alliance map. Because now it's King Alfred's turn, right? It's still way beyond us. Like power 3 for all. We're power 290, 291, something like that. Um, but there's nowhere else to go, guys. So nowhere else to go. So might as well. Hamptonshire, the last Saxon stronghold, and very heavily guarded. 
King Alfred is preparing for war. You will meet tremendous resistance. As will Alfred. Is Kuthrum Jarl there with his army? He is. He and Oba have gathered a sizable force and intend on launching an attack on Alfred soon. If we support their assault, England will fall to us. A pagan land where a multitude of gods may freely roam. I will pledge. I'll go to Hamptonshire and speak with Guthrum. Send word to our allies to gather on the Thames just outside the Shire. I will. May the gods share in this. Our final victory. Okay, so. What is it? Eivor, you must not go. You must not. The signs, the portents, they shout and veil. Your leaving will be our doom. Speak clearly, Valka. What have you seen? I have thrown the bones. I have stared the offal of beasts. And in the rising steam, I saw the end of it all. Though this battle you may win, this war you will not. Your foe will be your master. Your hope will be your grief. This is fate. Our fate. I thank you for this, Valka. But the yawns of fate are too frayed for me to follow now. I owe this fight to my friends and allies. And I will see it through. Go then. With great care. But know that the home you leave will not be the home to which what you return. Mean? Not nice words. Hey, my boy. Let me just check inside here for a sec. What have you... You and Petra chasing a white elk in the woods high as wispy clouds, my God! I could barely breathe for laughing. Beautiful, beautiful. Nature is amazing. What is this, sorry? Legendary animals can be... F oh, because we gave him the... Okay, these are the animals that we should, like, fight. Legendary animals can be found throughout the world. The log will update when animal is discovered or when it has been slain. Returning its trophy to Wallace will grant you many rewards, including a memento of the victorious hunt. We've killed... The wolf. This one, okay. Yeah, the game and wolf. When the biosophoric moved, one lonely wolf stayed. The diocese dare not fight it, for locusts claim it haunts the lands on behalf of Simon the Zealot, who was crucified there. Now proudly displayed in the longhouse. Okay, in fact, there is. Happy to say, I've refreshed my stocks. Um, let's go, legendary. I would like to see what you have in stock. There's still two enemies to discover. Okay. Done for now. Okay. I'm off. Be well, friend. Say hi to Petra if you see her. Avo. Yes. Petra. You have a look that could quiet the thunder. Is something wrong? No, no, everything's fine. Although I'm... Well, it's not easy. Go ahead. I'm listening. Well, I really enjoyed the time we've spent together, Eivor. More than enjoyed. What I'm trying to say here is that I... I like you, Eivor. And I'd like to go further with you. I thought we might, you know, be together. Ah, uh, I'm already in a relationship. Sorry, Petra, but I am already with someone. I... I knew that. I was expecting that. What a fool I am. It's all right. Everything is fine. If anything, I'm flattered. Well, at least you know how I feel about you. If anything... Eivor? Petra. Oh, Petra, you are a close and dear friend, but I am not. No, say nothing. 
I understand. You know how I feel about you, and that is that. Cool. Cool. This guy. Yeah, let's sell all the trinkets and stuff. I've been saving these just for you. What? May I see your stores? Yeah, no. Ah, I'm sorry. What have you got for me today? I just want to sell. Perfect. I'll happily take this. Good. Take also these. Take also these. And these. Nothing else? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Always a pleasure, Eva. See ya. Actually, you know what we can do? We've got like, what? Maybe another 15-20 minutes in this episode. Let's take a... Um, let's take a contract. Good day, good day. Have you got a contract for me? My agents are not meant to undertake these tasks, but you, you are more perilous. So the Joms Viking Code, a former Joms Viking betrayed his brotherhood and turned his back on the gods. The Joms Viking Code is strict about the punishment this deserves. Investigation office of, of investigation offer, a pheasant has been captured while vagabonding around the military camp. No expense is being spared on the recovery. And there are uh, materials on site. The thief's couple. Reda's rarest weapon has been stolen recently. If you want to continue to buy outstanding products from your favorite supplier, you had better find these thieves and teach them a lesson. Okay, let's do this. Remember, this person needs to be dead dead, not dead adjacent. Fully dead. Okay. Just think of the reward one. Let's works. track the, the quest. Um, I think we did one soon. contract, right? See you later. Since we've been praying. Um so quests. See I want to dedicate a new episode, like we start off a new episode that's gonna be the next episode with the new chapter. So let's just fill a bit of time here. Contracts. Track. Where do we need to go? Okay, I'm gonna fast travel and uh, I'll see you there. Destination. Okay, so the guy is like, what? 260 meters away. So I decided to come back immediately. As soon as we fast travel. Let's get the horse. I believe we did one mission. I'm not sure and I believe we didn't get paid for it. I'm not sure if we actually did the mission or not or maybe we did something wrong. But I, I'm curious to see because there's a load of contracts out there and if, if you get rewarded for them, which I think we will. so slow yeah that was the guy unless he's one of the order what do you need to do oh shit more wolves Is he one of the order? Or is he just the thief that Reda sent us to fetch? 
Tell the gods you need that Eivor sends you. Okay, so he was the guy with the contract. Okay. So. Okay, guys, so we are here. There is a boar here. I think. It's considered as a mystical creature. Yeah, here he is. And I thought, we'll, I don't know, we'll try to fight him. It's not very... Okay, so... I don't know what level he is. To be honest, I can't see him now, which might be a problem. Where is he? Hello, boar. There he is. I mean, it's not, he's not offering a lot of resistance, to be fair. I, I, again, I don't know what level, what, uh, what his level of power is. But when he hits, he hits hard. That's it. Okay, so I am going to fast travel back to the camp. I'm gonna give the trophy to that guy and we'll finish the episode there. Next episode, we'll start off the final chapter in... Uh, not the final chapter, the final Shire, which is... What's its name again? Hunt Hamptonshire. So, yeah, let's go to the camp. Okay, so let's go. Let's tell him that we've beaten the boar. We've got a blood pig's head. <laughs> Obviously. We just like... You know, took his head off. Um, I'm just curious to see what we get for it, that's all. Hello, Eivor. Hi, man. Can I talk to you? Impressive. Never seen anything like it. Hollowed monolith scheme. Well, basically, what, what what is it? Is it just a tattoo design? I have something that may interest What's hunted? you. We always have need for this. We have nothing, nothing else. <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay, friend. so let's see. Until next.
should be somewhere here. Um, schematics for a settlement decoration. What is it? Okay, okay, okay. A design for an arm tattoo that can be applied by a local supplier. Okay, so, okay. So, basically, what he gave us, you know, those um, free things that you can build. Like in here, look. We have, we have this stone hinge. This we have. That we have. So, he gave us for this one. Uh, but not here, because we have this over here. So, anyway. Next episode, guys, I will come back and we will start off the final Shire and we will give the chase to King Alfred. Can't wait, can't wait. Although, our power level is way beyond the Shire power level. So it's gonna be hard. But in the meantime, probably I'm gonna do some side missions over here um, just to maybe put up my skills or stuff. But I'll be next. I'll be with my next episode very soon so until then thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it if you did so don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to channel if you're new my name is jerry d and until next time stay safe love one another bye bye